The Fat Electrician Hates Communism, featuring Donut Operator by Unsubscribe Podcast, the Unsubscribe Clips channel. Bro, <laughs> the people I've you're spent in the last 48 with. hours of my life <laughs> just raging communism sense because <laughs> Donald, Donald, Trump, haven't done it right Donald yet. Trump had that fucking comment about how, like, oh, Russia beat the Nazis, and now it's it's weird because, like, Donald Trump... Right, but like communist sympathizers left, and now all the communist <laughs> sympathizers are like, yes, Russia beat the Nazis by themselves, and I'm just what? shitting on all of them. What? And it's, I I can't handle being on X. I'm oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. I I, I I'm with, I've actually been debating on like just getting off Twitter at this point. Twitter X, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, Musk. I don't agree with the calling it X. I think it's stupid. <laughs> like. Oh, we're in for a good one today. There are some wild takes. Let's put it this way. Even just talking about Sony and Helldivers in the same sentence, even though I'm mirroring a lot of the points larger creators like Pirate Software say, the amount of pushback I've heard and the amount of just like re-Twitter users is absolutely insane. <laughs> <laughs> we're in for a good one i get canceled if i go on there and have to argue with these fucking people yeah exactly well, this, as you're saying it is this quick history lesson you're going to see yes russia threw a fuck ton of bodies and helped stop I, the war machine that was not germany yes yeah. but if your claim to fame is we had the most people die that's a really <laughs> shitty stat I'm yeah sorry. Like, that's imagine, been done imagine yet. if yeah. i was in the nba finals and LeBron dunked on me the most amount of times, and I was like, I deserve to be MVP because I gave up the most points. No, 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 no. He he's right though. He is absolutely right on that though. Like some people will actually do that. Be like, yeah, no, I got to, uh, I, I I fought, did this thing with this person, and yeah, I got trounced, but I did this thing with this person, and it it's so just brain dead to me, in my opinion. Like, oh god. It's like how I'm very like cautious about what I do on YouTube, cautious what I do on Twitter, etc. Because like, would I like to collab with people? Cool. Would I like to do things with people? Cool. But you know what these fears are rife with? Unfortunately, people that you know just want to do something with someone else and then just take the clout and run with it. I can't stand that mentality. Like it's it's so foreign to me to just like not respect somebody like that and just to use them to progress your career. Like I can understand it. But the fact that people do it, I don't respect it. And that's not, that's honestly why I do my best to try and, you know, prove myself to do what I can each and every day to try and be a difference. But like he he's so incredibly on with this tank and it it, it goes into so many other facets of life. Oh my god, stupid. No, Did no, you know about the NBA? Shit. That's impressive. It, it's more like League of Legends or Call of Duty, like Warzone. It is mm. you and your three buddies are at the top, and that fourth person on yeah. that team has a KD of point zero zero six. He's died 80 times. Bro. Got one kill. He's like, then, this is my fucking you war. You get all these fucking dudes. This Bro, Destiny, though, no shit. I'm, I'm going to have to take off my glasses because I'm going to have to. I, I'm putting like my hands on my face because, oh, my God, I hate these people. Dude, homeboy is like lowest on the scoreboard. Homie, what are you doing? Oh, well, you all just need to come up on damage. Mate, we're doing like 2 million damage. You're like 500k. What is happening here? Well, I'm just using my build. Bro, have you considered, you know, playing the game? No, nah, no, nah, bro. No, nah, I'm going to do this. Oh, could just Oh, these people stress me out. Like, bro, please. Please, I get that you want to play the game your way, but when you're costing me and other people time or you're costing us that like actual W, maybe you should switch up. Jump over. Oh, the U Did you know the USSR actually manufactured more tanks in America during sure. World War II? Sure. Oh, did that. they? Did they really? You're scared. Really interesting. That's cool. Yeah. Who who did who did uh who who did America send to the Soviet Union in I don't know, like fucking 1929 and started their entire industrial <laughs> revolution when he founded the Stalingrad tractor factory? <laughs> oh, it was uh, Albert Kahn, aka the architect of fucking Detroit. Literally America started your entire manufacturing capability. And you're going to sit here and try to flex on me like that's a fucking big big W for communism. How much fucking money did America give to the Soviet Union in the early years of World War II? Like what fucking what, 11 billion dollars. Right. You're like, "Oh, that's that's How not much a lot." Today? That's not a lot of money. A it's lot like of money today. billion ish dollars. <laughs> what's fucking what's a, what's Russia's military budget right now? I don't Eighty-six know. billion. I don't oh, know. you gave them three times the annual military <laughs> no. fucking budget, and you're gonna come to me and be like, "Oh, communism's the fucking best." Yeah, when it's funded by fucking capitalism. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. But guys, it just works. 
Except when your infrastructure is rife with corruption. Except when your infrastructure just continues to pick favorites and to assign values, uh, unequal values to people, right? Oh, well, we'll sell you back this hostage, right? They're, but they're a doctor, though. You understand, right? They have a little bit more value than someone who, say, is a woodworker, right? Than, say, who someone who's a fisherman, right? So with this doctor, if you give us, you know, 40 grand instead of the 20 grand for the fisherman, I mean, we could do that. Huh. Seems pretty profit-driven to me, Captain. Mm, Dr. Evil smile. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Why the fuck wouldn't it be? Hell yeah. Okay, the same reason you hear everybody like, no, did you, did you know that fucking Cuba has the best healthcare system in the fucking world? And the only reason that Never Cuba that. isn't a communist fucking paradise is because America put an embargo on them and refused to do business on them. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but explain to me in logical fucking reasoning why it is that a communist fucking utopia can't exist because capitalism isn't going to work with them. It can't exist on its own. They need capitalists to fucking work with them for them to fucking survive, okay? At the end of the day, I've never seen a fucking capitalist trying to build a fucking raft out of shitty, broken fucking tires to swim across shark-infested water to make their way to Florida to fucking escape, okay? Get over it. Communist I mean, honestly, like, he's not wrong here. And, like, that's the thing. So if somebody approaches me, right, and I, I, have, these, I have these conversations very selectively for obvious reasons. If I have somebody that is like, okay, communism, I'm going to be like, did you do your research? Do, do you know the subject matter at hand? Have you read the Communist Manifesto? Have you read Mark's work? Well, well, no. Okay, I literally don't want to hear what you have to say then. Like, just, just go, please. Oh, but I have a good... Look, anything you can say, I have people that can point to why that didn't work, why that failed. I myself could find faults in that logic, right? Now, if we want to have a theoretical discussion, and they have read marks, and they have studied their history, and they have done things right, cool. I'm open to a discussion, and then if they say something that, you know, ends up getting tongue tied, if they end up getting, you know, going in circles, right? Cool. I'm out of this. It is such one of those topics that like everybody wants this to work, but every time we have tried it, it does not work. You have to remember like, what was it? Uh, uh, it, communism also has some really bad things tied to it too. Pol Pot, right? Cambodia. He went over to France, I believe, uh, before uh, before the whole uh, S21, right? Before the whole that situation. And I believe he was part of the Communist Party of France, if I remember correctly. Someone else was going to have to quote me on that. But, like, yeah, you got that. You have the Hollow de Moor, which is uh, kind of directly tied to communism. You have McDonald's going up in, uh, in Moscow, right? <laughs> Certain people will... Uh, Site that will be the death of communism. <laughs> it really is just so funny to think about the concept of a we we are communist and we are communist country, right? <laughs> and you get the McDonald's. <laughs> oh, dude, I don't know. There's the, it, the the irony writes itself. So to kind of capstone that. I don't have these discussions a lot because 90% of people, 95% of people, I can just outright dismiss. The people that do want to have these conversations generally are also like, yeah, the system sucks. It requires things like capitalism to work. It requires things like commerce to work. It requires things like subsidies and uh, other programs to work, right? And then again, it only works for a few people until people decide that, hey, we're going to be people, right? Oh, that's interesting. You're having people being people, and that's the problem with the systems? Sounds like a pretty shitty system. <laughs> also, remember, Karl Marx and his, his homeboy were directly benefiting off of the uh, off of his homeboy's father living. Uh, so capitalism was literally benefiting him writing the Communist Manifesto. And if we're going to go, Buh, that wasn't real communism, right? Buh. <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay. Let's talk about how communist China, let's talk about how the uh, communist uh, Russia, Soviet Union, both, right? Let's talk about how they deviate from Marx's works, right? So we're going to have that discussion that will lead into that discussion. You see how now we're just already so into the weeds that this kind of sucks. Damn, it's almost like the whole idea kind of sucks. <laughs> At least that humanity's part current, like, evolution. If we become, like, super enlightened, like, 
like god beings whatever okay cool maybe we can have a discussion one day but as people stand man there 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 are people that like leave the billion dollar corporation loan to sony you want to trust these people <laughs> To run a government like that? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That fucking sucks. You're never going to convince me otherwise. You're fucking wrong. If you think that the USSR single-handedly beat <laughs> no, they the Nazis in World War II, they played you're a fucking part. wrong, objectively speaking. I can't fucking yeah. help you. Okay? Did they help? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm happy to admit that they contributed to beating the Nazis. If you yes. think they did it on their own, it's no. because you're breathing through your mouth and you're objectively <laughs> fucking retarded. Those are the only <laughs> fucking reasons that you would think that. Okay? Furthermore, the only reason the reason that World War II even fucking happened is because the Nazis and the USSR had an agreement that yeah. they were going to go ahead. They're like, oh, go ahead, invade fucking Poland, yeah. and we're going to have separate spheres of influence, and then we're not going to fight, and then the Nazis attack the USSR anyways, yeah. Yeah, and did. then they join the fucking allies, okay? Yeah. So the USSR is the reason that World War II even fucking happened. You don't get to claim credit for being the only ones that fucking won, okay? Oh Shut my the God. fuck up. I can't oh fucking handle it. Like, I mean, to be fair, you know, and this is obviously one of those like cool people have a discussion on, right? Like the USSR did could have yes been seen as directly enabling it, right? However, that had to do with uh, unfair uh, restrictions and sanctions and unfair uh, punishments being levied against uh, the it was the German Empire in World War One, right? Uh, Germany after World War One, of course, just hey, you have to pay all these restitutions and stuff like that, and it just. It was a lot. World War One is never a a clean thing, unfortunately. To be fair, though, so that 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 is part of that as well. That is partly uh, due to the restitutions. That is partially due to um, a number of. Sorry, I'm having to deal with a band in the other window. Part of that was due to. Uh, wow, I totally just spaced out there. I am so sorry. Sometimes I wonder if I'm actually just brain damaged. Like some days, like I'll say things, and I just can't actually say things. <laughs> Part due to a uh, starving population, population looking for a way out, population looking for hope, and finally this this dude with you know little must little mustache, right? Is just like, hey, as it turns out, this group is responsible for your issues. So there's a number of things that you could argue snowballed into it, but I think I'd be wrong to say that the alliance with the USSR with Germany in World War II, prior to World War II, did not have an impact in starting world war ii at least in the way it was right i think that that is a fair thing to say i got two sons and then people are like oh you do jujitsu you're a big fucking tough manly man you are what if, what if your kids grew up what if one of them was gay i sure. don't care at all they can be gay all they want it's not going to bother me at all but if my child grows up to simp over the ussr oh or the no German military i'm going to consider myself a fucking failure as a father because my kids are Fucking retarded, okay? Uh, that's not acceptable to me. I fucking Dude, going to college with you must be a fucking nightmare. <laughs> no, try being Wasn't there the, uh, it was a shoe on head video. Wasn't there a flag that was like a Soviet flag, but it was like, it was like a US flag design on base, right? Star stripes, right? But it was like Soviet Union colors, and I think there was even the hammer and sickle on it. Has somebody sent that to the fat electrician yet? I want to hear him rant on this. I want to hear him just, even if it's just a short, I would love to get a live reaction to that. <laughs> Fucking professor, your, te your teacher, your teacher's like, this is college algebra. <laughs> we just asked you to help us with the problem. So this is art 101, bro. <laughs> Everyone in your class is like this. And you guys should see the fucking diatribes that Nick writes and he sends us of our arguing with, like arguing with college kids. Dude, he bullies that is your that's your Twitter. Yeah, you do in person Twitter. You do in IR, Twitter and IRL. Like, oh my god. Have you like what's the last battle you've been in on your your college frontier? Oh no. It was that actually. Oh somebody was like, actually, you know the the Soviet Union 
manufactured more fucking tanks. And it was me just going off. Like, actually, the only reason they could manufacture tanks is because America sent their best fucking engineers to the USSR to teach them how to manufacture tanks. Furthermore, your tanks are shit. Also, <laughs> America gave you, like, 4,000 fucking Sherman tanks and 400,000 trucks. Did you know that in 1945, over fucking three quarters of all the vehicles that the USSR military had were fucking manufactured by America? Go fuck yourself. Oh, my you're God. Sit here and be like, Communism's better because they can manufacture more shit. Only because America's funding you, okay? The so I, wa I want to point out that rightly some people have criticized me for uh, snapping back on certain things when someone does like a really stupid comment that my brain just can't process and I absolutely just ream them. Yeah. <laughs> but see, the fan electrician is doing it at least in a classy way where he has all of this facts, figures, citations, all of that to back it up. <laughs> I think we've gotten way too comfortable being disrespectful to people especially when we don't know the whole story right like if i were to tweet at the fat electrician and say this exact same thing right one that's disrespectful to him two that's completely unfair to him three clearly he has a clip right here right that you can watch and he explains it so if i were to do it first of all i'm in the wrong for that for even tweeting that at him second he's going to absolutely eviscerate me with the amount of citations he could provide and you know what I think I deserve that. <laughs> As it turns out, there's a fun little formula, right? The the left arm is the the f around, the right arm is the uh, the find out, right? The more you f around, the more you'll find out. There's a direct correlation here. <laughs> I actually, it's really refreshing because some people on the internet just are that dumb. They're just that disrespectful. They don't want to do their research. They don't want to do X, Y, Z, A, B, C. And you know what? Absolutely. Like someone comes in the chat, right? And says something wrong. Like then maybe they say something like, oh, shit. You know, oh, Kip, you know, World War Three lasted until 1950. And it's like, yeah, source on that, Captain. Like anything. <laughs> someone wants to go and chat. Well, actually, Kip, communism can work. And they, they start typing. It's like, I need you to stop right now. Let, let's not do this today. That kind of thing, right? But if someone's going to try to attack you if someone's going to try to be shitty with you i mean <laughs> you are effing around people like the fat electrician with numbers made you find out it, it's 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 chef's kiss to me the only reason that you motherfuckers were running proxy wars in afghanistan in the 80s and 90s were uh -huh. because america taught you how to do it because we did it to you in world war ii <laughs> yeah. go fuck yourself communism sucks Whoa. jesus christ just some kid like this just being like what was the response that wasn't real communism. Oh, fuck, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there it is. That's the one. That's not real capitalism. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Get out of here. We just haven't done Jesus it right yet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're like, like one sweaty. more. What the fuck, bro? Like, fucking one, two, maybe three. Three tops. Three more genocides. <laughs> we're going to hammer out this whole camp. communism idea. Okay, look. Cambodia S21. Hall of more. Not enough for you. You know, let's, uh, let's get, we gotta go pad those numbers, right? Dude, that's awful. Like, well, it hasn't been done yet, right, so far. Yeah. And I don't think we really should try again until humanity has advanced to, like, like apotheosis levels of self-actualization. We can actually talk to each other. Okay, you know my benchmark for this? I teach Destiny 2 raids, right? Do you know how hard it is to teach motherfuckers how to actually, like, count one through seven? There's a very specific encounter in Vaults of Glass. I'm going to make this easy. If you don't play Destiny, I will tell you how easy this encounter is. You stand at specific sections in the room. You can have all six players do it. One of you is going to look over two. Generally, you can have me who does like three on one side, or there's a spot where you can look at all seven. But as a team, six players, you need to hit seven oracles, and they spawn in increments of three, four, five. Uh, it's so four, five, six, seven, right? That's all you're doing, and you shoot them in fucking order. I literally take people in Vault of Glass when I'm like, I don't know if you can communicate because if these motherfuckers can't count one through seven, I sure as hell ain't doing Garden of Salvation. I ain't doing any fucking in-game activities with them. Like, this is the part that actually pisses me off. Like, genuinely. <laughs> you, you have motherfuckers that can't count one through seven. Now you want to tell them, hey, let's go try communism again the way Mark's intended. No fucking way, homie. I am good. Communism is fucking stupid. Communism is perfect <laughs> on paper. Okay, yeah. it's it's the greatest it's the greatest way to live that's ever been devised. Yeah. The problem with having a perfect work of art is you're trying to apply it to an imperfect canvas, and that is yeah. 
humans. Humans are greedy, oh, yeah. arrogant, stupid assholes. Yeah. Everybody is at some point during the day. It's just yeah. a matter of how often you are that person. Everybody's Always. a stupid, arrogant, greedy. This is why fucking roundabouts don't work, right? Yeah. Roundabouts are <laughs> right? communism, right? They're the communism of road structures, okay? Are they better on paper? Absolutely. They're way more oh. efficient. Except for Janet is in a fucking minivan trying to hand a little commie fucking Cheetos while she's trying to take a fucking roundabout at 65 oh, miles an hour and it doesn't fucking work, okay? Get it's over it. It's the redistribution it. of payment. Humans are dumb and you have to take it into account when you're trying to build a civilization. I'm yeah. sorry, but that's just the way it works. Uh, God, yeah. I love you, Nick. I uh, fucking hate communism. Have I brought uh, this up? I don't know. Commun <laughs> roundabouts are communism? Yes. I, I can see that. We, we, we I can so see that. That's a shirt. Before, people will that's stop. A shirt. And before. now I, I get it because people stop it. Like, you have people that go through it. They're like, oh, no one's coming. I'll go. Some people will yield and they'll just stop. Just sit there. Go on. And you are right. It is it's the individual. It's perfect on paper, but people fuck it up. Yeah, it's exactly I mean, I'm also one of those people that does stop at roundabouts because I don't trust other drivers. Generally, though, I'm pretty cognizant of traffic. Actually, outside of the shields we have near me, uh, there's a roundabout. It's fairly fine until about like rush hour when there's actually cars in it. But no, I, I, I will stop generally, especially if there are cars in the roundabout. I just need to make sure because... Also, Idaho is a place. I Idahoans out there, right? Let, let me know. Let me know in the comments. The moment it rains, how many people can't fucking drive? Like, they lose all sense of driving. Now, if it snows, oh, dear God. Like, let's put it this way. So, I wanted to go, like, shop for some retro games and stuff. And I drove <laughs> my Honda Accord <laughs> through, like, this, this blizzard. <laughs> And I got back to, because well, I was staying with my parents, right? I got back there. And my dad looks at me and goes, did you fucking go and drive out in that? I'm like, yeah. He's like, why? I, I wanted to go shopping for retro games. What do you want from me? And he was just absolutely up, like, just floored that I went out in this icy, slick, snowy weather. And I did it just fine. Meanwhile, other people, when it snows, they just, they, they just, they, they lose it. They lose just the ability to function. And it blows my mind. Exactly like uh, returning your fucking your carts, your shopping cart back exactly. to the little fucking stall. Mm -hmm. You can't rely on everyone to do that. <laughs> yeah. You cannot. You can't get that great internet video that one dude that throws. No, that. throws fucking stickers on people's cars and, and they shit. get <gasps> soup. <laughs> <laughs> he's, still, he's still out there, right? Isn't he oh, like yeah, doing that? Doing doing fighting content. a good fight? Dude, he gets so angry. And then you get fucking Tucker right Carlson now. going to Russia being like, oh, fucking Russian grocery oh. stores are so great. They have You have to put 10 rubles into the grocery cart, and then that incentivizes you to return the grocery cart back to where... Okay, motherfucker, don't we literally have this at... What's Aldi's in U.S.? Trader Joe's? Yeah, don't we literally, didn't he literally go over this in his Trader Joe's video? Fuck, oh, dude, people, please. Well, yeah, fucking America does that too. It's called yeah. Aldi. Yeah. Okay, we invented there, yeah. it in West Germany in 1940 fucking yeah. six, right after World War II. Yeah, we, we do that too. Okay? I literally I'm wrote sorry. a paper on that in business yeah. school. It's the most successful like uh, grocery store Aldi's chain the shit. in the world. Aldi's the greatest grocery store in the world. I did a case planet. study on it for like a you month. Want, you want to know that? I do know that recently uh, they have come under fire. Uh, Trader Joe's specifically has come under fire in regards to, I believe, trying to union bust as somebody that was uh <laughs> subject to being union busted despite me being like dude i don't even know where you begin with that you were st literally had an executive of a business i worked in be like well kip you know are you trying to form a union are you or anyone else trying to form a union together get out of here with that shit bro you're an executive really Get out of here. As somebody who's been subject to that, like, oh, it's it's awful. I, I, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. That's one of those, I don't know enough about the situation. So I'm going to kind of refrain from really giving commentary on it. I can tell you this happened. This was why people were talking about them in this capacity. But I know jack shit past that. That being said, for, 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 as far as I'm aware from the knowledge of what I've learned in the Fat Electrician's video, all of these is fucking awesome. <laughs> Like being able to go into storage and walk out. The the number one consumer rated best grocery store in America, it's Aldi. Yep. You want to know the number two store? H E B. It's Trader Joe. Yeah. Guess who owns Trader Joe? Aldi. 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 Yeah. Okay. It's Aldi because Southern, the Aldi right? Brothers were two Ger two German soldiers right after World I want War II. Opens the grocery they started, store. They started the <laughs> no, grocery yeah. store. Okay. Do you understand the fucking? Do you understand? <laughs> Let him cook. Do you understand <laughs> you, you how cook. hard it would be? <laughs> <laughs> a fucking grocery store in West Germany in 1946. Yeah. They're playing on fucking hardcore mode. Okay? Yeah, they exactly. The grocery store it worked great. New Two brothers. <laughs> and then in like the 
1980s, they're like, I want to have cigarettes. And the other brother's like, I don't want to have cigarettes. And they're like, cool, let's separate. You run half the Aldi's, I'll run the other half of the yeah. Aldi's, and then we'll just have two separate businesses, but we'll work together. And that's what they did. And all they had Aldi North and Aldi South in Germany, right? Then they, came, then they came to America. You can't have Aldi and Aldi in America due to trademark. So they're like, fuck it, we'll be Aldi and Trader Joe. And that's... Yeah. Fucking what's going on in America right Yeah, it's now. trademark the issues. They're store. divided in the middle. Ever. They divided right down yeah, the middle. They're just divided. They, it's right like, it's like they could, was they very could divided. help themselves. <laughs> Germany like, was very, it was like was east, there a wall or east, something? East, there was a wall. He yeah, had the Berlin Wall. They had east and west, like yeah. capitalism, communism, hungry fed, that whole shtick. But right. then they had north and west. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Had all the north, all the south, yeah. the two brothers. One had cigarettes, one didn't. One became Trader Joe's. The other one's just Aldi. It's the greatest grocery store ever. No big deal. Yeah. I mean, it's the number one thing that you studied like in business school about a company and like understanding scale. Like it's literally like I studied all the economics of it. Everything he says is right. I love that. That was that was spicy. No, I'm loving the unsubscribe podcast. Like, holy crap, dude, that is some uh, that is some next level stuff. I'm really glad that a lot of these people get to come together. I know what Brandon Herrera has been on there as well. Uh, just a bunch of really cool people. So if you have not checked out the unsubscribe podcast. If you have not checked out the Fat Electrician, I definitely recommend that you check them out. Down in the description down below, you will see a link to the Unsubscribe Podcast channel, the Unsubscribe Clips. You will see uh, the Fat Electrician, and you will see the Fat Files. I try and make it as easy as possible. That If someone wants to find the source material, I make it as easy as possible. I did go and check some uh, larger React channels that uh, I kind of you know tangentially follow. And uh, some of them, despite how large they are, still don't seem to put the source material in. So... Consider that uh, Kip from my little corner of the internet lighting uh, the fire under the asses of some people. Hey, you should probably cite your shit. <laughs> At the very least, I just try I try to just send people as many people their way as I can. I know there are people that have found the fat electrician through me. I know there's people that found a lot of people through me. And, uh, you know, not that I'm saying I'm, you know, reason for their success by any means. I'm not. But I want to send as many people as I can their way. So definitely check them out if you have not. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> Let me know if you like spicy Kip in the comment section down below. I know that there's this conception out there that like, well, Kip just inherently doesn't want to talk politics. Let's put it this way. I'm very picky and I don't really put myself out there if I don't have to, especially firearms is a no-go. That is only safety and education. That's on tactic Kip. But when it comes down to hey, stuff like this, right? Stuff like communism, stuff like that. Yeah, let's, let's throw them here. Let's throw evidence your way. Let's throw Cambodia S21. Let's throw Paul Pot being part of the Communist Party of Par of uh, uh, France, right? Let's throw this at the dartboard. <laughs> Let me know in the comments section down below what your thoughts are. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.